Okay, so today we are looking at the old CCM Trigger 8 Pro and putting it up against its newer model, the Trigger 8 Pro. You said the Trigger 8 Pro twice. Did I? Yep, let's go. Oh, shit. Okay, so today we are looking at the old Trigger 7 Pro and putting it up against this newer model, the Trigger 8 Pro, and seeing which one comes out on top. A lot of requests for this. A lot of requests for this. Yeah, we dropped the uh, VS against the Hyperlite 2 first. I thought that was a more important video to do, but everyone's question was, should I upgrade? Well. Let's, no, 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 let's get into it, let's get into it. Okay. Tell me, tell me what's different about these two sticks. Okay. They look pretty similar. Not, what is wrong with you? No, they don't. <laughs> the Trigger 8 Pro looks a hundred times better. Black, Bro, <laughs> no, this stick looks so much better. When Chris handed me this stick, oh, it's amazing. It looks disgusting. Can I just add the purple grip tape with the purple stick? Looks amazing. Anyway, getting into the video. The feel, the Trigger 7 Pro doesn't have the ribbed uh, tech on its shaft. It's a bit rude to keep going. It does, but honestly, it feels amazing. It gives you such a better feel for the puck. Chris, please. I'm sorry. Honestly, it does. It gives you such a better feel for the shot of uh, the puck. And believe it or not, it's got an even better release than the old one. I didn't think it was possible, but somehow CCM have upped it again. This stick has a way better release than the old model, but it just, it flies off the bottom of your stick even easier than the old one. And I was a massive fan of the old one. I remember. The stick almost releases the shot before you expect it to, which is nuts. Let's just think about that for a second. You don't expect the puck to come off your stick, and it does. And not in a bad way, in a very, very good way. I was a massive fan of the old one. It's a lovely stick. I'm not hating on it. It's still a lovely stick. But this stick is just like, you've put it in an upgrade machine and it's popped back out and this is what it's gave you. And of course, guys, don't forget to grab a hockey wraparound for all of your off ice and outdoor training needs. If you've got an expensive stick, or even if you've got a stick that you want to last a long time outside, don't forget to put an original hockey wraparound on the blade of your stick so you can practice your stick handling, your shooting, even your slap shots, whether it be behind the rink, in your garden, front of the house, tennis courts, anywhere outside that's rough, that's gonna chew the bottom of your stick blade up. Don't forget to have the perfect accessory with your stick, the hockey wraparound. Of course, links will be down below in the video description to pick one up regardless of where you are in the world. Now of course what makes the stick feel so much better than the last one this is where we look at the tech and the spec very very quickly so we're only going to be covering what is new in terms of technology. Now to summarize the differences between the Trigger 8 Pro and the Trigger 7 Pro it's going to be a better shaft a more optimized or better low kick and a better blade. Now what that breaks down to with technology with the Trigger 8 Pro, we're seeing CCM's Nanolite Shield as opposed to their Nanolite Carbon Layering, which essentially is a thicker carbon layer that is placed on the shaft of the stick, resulting in just a more optimal stick, better durability. Now from there, this of course is still gonna be the same rounded shaft that we see with that concave on your forehand, convex on your backhand. The reason for that is because it allows for better energy transfer and also improved shot speed, and of course makes the stick very comfortable to hold. Now from there, in terms of the lower kick, they've essentially just optimized the lower kick point on the stick, making the stick much easier to load, resulting in a much better release on the stick Exactly as Tommy said in the video, you can feel that when you put the stick on the ice. Now in terms of what they've done to the blade, they have a new dampening foam insert in the blade that essentially helps for better feel of the puck and also quicker and more accurate shots. Those are the three things that have changed in this stick. Better shaft, better low kick, better blade. Back to the video. It's incredible. 
great wrist shots, great slap shots, great backhands, great one-timers. It's like every great aspect of every stick and they've gone, there you go. It's insane. It's like they've managed to put an ASV Pro slap shot inside a low kick stick as well, which is just insane to me. Doesn't make sense. But is it worth the upgrade? Yes, yes it is. Hands down, it's worth the upgrade. Really? Really. So even if you're paying $80 if I, it, more? If I was paying, I'd be buying the Trigger 8 Pro. It's that big of a difference. It's that big of a difference. And normally, I'm like, no. <laughs> but if I was paying, I'd be paying the extra. Okay.